Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good day again everyone Today we will be discussing about relations and functions Okay, and this would be mostly on relations Kasi um, it would take a lot of time to discuss functions Okay, so relations So by definition, relations are any set of ordered pairs So when we talk about any set Let me just uh, when we talk about sets would be they are just simply a collection of um uh elements or objects okay and collection of what collection of ordered pairs so let's go now to ordered pairs so meaning relations are just many ordered pairs okay now ordered pairs are just simply um composed of two elements separated by a comma and enclosed by a parenthesis so meaning may comma siya and then may parenthesis okay and at the same time they are, they are two elements and what is the first element the first element are just simply values of x sorry that's too much and then the second would be values of y so we have values for x and y okay and we call all the values of x being abscissa and the sets of those abscissas would be named as named as domain and then for the y it's called the ordinate or just simply the sets of ordinates would be simply a range okay so for example we have um, wait lang. For example, we have this given. Yeah, for example, say we have this. Um, 1 and 2, 3 and 4, 5 and 6. Yeah. Say we have this given. So this one is an example of a relation because this is just simply a group or a set of um, ordered pairs. Remember, remember, when we are naming sets, we are enclosing them in braces. So, imagine this one is uh, sa harap. Okay, set A is just simply the values of this one. Okay? So, having this set of um, ordered pairs, we can also identify the domains. Okay? The domains being elements of the X, which is 1, 3, and 5. And, of course, the range being just simply 2, 4, and 6. Okay? And this is an example of your relation. And of course, identifying your domain and range. Okay? Domain lang yan. Sorry. Uh, let, me, let me erase that one. So, domain. Okay? So, yeah. So, next one. Let's have, uh, say, um, wait lang, uh, let me think. Okay. Negative 1. 1. Then, we have negative 2. 1 and negative 3 and 1 okay so all our domains uh, our domain would be all the values of x would be simply um negative 1 negative 2 and negative 3 and of course our range even though that it is repeating we have three ones there we will just simply write one because one as an element is just simply the same as all the other ones okay and next one we will have um, let me think of a given, say we have 1 and negative 1, 1 and negative 2, um, 1 and negative 3, and 5 and negative 4. Yeah. So we have this uh, given, sorry let me enclose this one in a parenthesis. So our domain would be simply all the values for x which is of course we have 1 and 5 remember the 1 here are repeating so it, we just uh, consider them as 1 and then as for the range our range is just simply negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 and negative 4 so you will notice that the range is uh, no, not repeating but in our domain it repeated thrice okay so it's okay Again, it's just simply a collection or set of ordered pairs. Now, this would be an exa three examples of a um, relation. Okay. So now, uh, when it comes to relation, we also have representations for them. Okay. We have representations. Representations. Meaning, we can show the, you know, the, um, we can show the relation in different ways. And one way of showing relation, and it's um, it's a good way of identifying the, what you, call, you can say the three kinds of relation based on pairing, okay? It's what we call the mapping. The mapping or the arrow diagram. 
Okay, the mapping or the uh, um, arrow diagram will just simply demand you to list down your... Wait, uh, let me write down our given. Let me, maybe let's just copy it. Okay, it demands you to to list down your elements or your set domains and range in a way that wait lang yan here yan okay it demands you to list it down in a column way uh, what do I mean by column way na column yan it's written in a column x would be written like in a column like this one all the domain and then for the range you'll just simply list it down as um as a like in, in a column okay so we have 4 and 6 and the next thing that you need to do after you have uh, um, listed down your values of the domain, this one, the domain, and your range, uh, you just simply need to pair them up. Pair them up one by one. So the first um, order pair is 1, 2, so you will pair 1 and 2. The second one is 3 and 4, and this one. And the third one is 5 and 6, so we have 5 and 6. Okay? So that's it. You just simply map them down. And this one is called an 1 to 1 one to one correspondence meaning all elements will just um, correspond to one value so all elements of x will correspond to only one value in y and that would be it one is to one okay so our next example let me just copy paste it from the here okay. okay i think some figures will be copied but it's okay. So, yeah. so we have this one. Again, we write it down on x and y. Okay, as, as x and y. So the first one would be negative 1, negative 2, and negative 3. And this is for the domains. And as for the range, you will notice that the range is just the same. So we will just simply write 1. You, will not, you don't need to write 1 multiple times. You just simply need to write 1 once. Because what would happen would be, if we try to pair up this one, we will have 1 is to 1. 1 is to 2, and negative um, negative 2 is to 1, and negative 3 is to 1. And this would be, um, the correspondence would be many to 1 correspondence. Okay? Many to 1 correspondence. So this would be um, the second, um, like you can, we can say that it's a second type of um, relation based on correspondence. Okay? And the last one. Um, let me just again copy paste from our previous example. So we have this. Okay. Yeah. So this one would give us values for x and y in a, in this sense. x and y. And 1 is the same for um, first, second, and third. And then we have 5 for the last one. Okay. So we will have, of course, negative 1 for the y, negative 2 for the y, negative 3 for the y, and negative 4 for the last y. So pairing them up, 1 is to negative 1, 1 is to negative 2, and 1 is to negative 3, and 5 is to negative 4. In this part, yan, in this part, okay, this part will have, yan, this one, will have 1 is to many correspondence. Okay, 1 is to many correspondence, meaning 1 value for x will correspond to many values in y. This one is 1 is to 1. Yeah. And we also have mix, because we, we can have mix them up. Like this one, this one is generally a mixed type of correspondence, because of course, um, we have 1 is to many and 1 is to 1. Okay? So, yeah. So, those, that would be the very first type of, um, what they call this, of writing down, or representing your relation okay so let's have another kind let me just add a new layer yeah. let's have another kind which is uh, what we call the for a while okay which is what we call the table of values table of values so before i think before we start let me just copy paste all the and okay, let's do it one by one okay in the table of values, what we need to do is you just simply need to, of course, get your given. Kunin muna natin yung given natin. Very first given. Yeah. Let's hide the first layer. Okay. Of course, you just simply need to take your given and 
write them down in a table. Okay, write them down in a table. That's why it's called a table of values. So, on the row side, okay, on the first column and first uh, first and second row, you will write your x's, x and y, okay? And what you just simply need to do here, you just simply need to write down all the values of x and y that corresponds to each other. So, what I mean by that? First point, we have this one, 1 and 2. So, the x here is 1 and the y here is 2. Next, second point. The x here is 3, and the y here is 4, right? Let me just erase yung ating mga 1 and 2, and 3 and 4. And then for the last point, or last order, it's 5 and 6. That's it. You write them down in a table. Every relation, every set of ordered pairs can be written down in the form of table of values. Next example tayo. Let me just take the other example. Um, okay. I'm just selecting this one for a while. Yeah. Uh, is it? Is it? Yeah, okay, it is. It is. So let's have our second example. Yeah. Our second example would be uh, written down again in the form of um, a table X and Y. I will not create the table itself anymore because it takes time. So let's list them down. Yeah, this one. It's negative 1 and 1, negative 2 and 1. And negative 3 and 1. So you might ask, sir, is it okay just to write 1 once because it's just repeating? No. In table of values, you need to write them down all together. So let me just, while I'm excited, all together. Meaning, you list down the values even though they are repeating. So in this case, repeating yung y, but please write them down still. This is your table of values. Okay? Let's go to our third example. And it's uh, easy lang naman to represent your, ano, your relations okay so the third given being example being this one okay let's try to express this one um, in a table so we have x and y and x so the first um, ordered pair is 1 and negative 1 1 and negative 2 1 and negative 3 we have 5 and negative 4 it's easy you just simply list them down in a table now the table of values would actually be useful when we come uh, when we tackle more about algebra okay because this would be um, used for plotting points or evaluating um, expressions or equations to get the values of x and y okay so we have this our table of values okay i hope that is easy enough so now let's proceed to the next kind the next kind is just simply let's select this one okay the next kind would be called as the graph okay now in the graphing in the graphing part what we need to do is we just simply need to plot the points not necessarily that we need to connect them together but we just simply need to plot the points okay we know that our given for the first one is this okay yeah. our given for the first one is this one wait lang, let me just write the example okay. example this is our given. Ayan. And in graphing, we need to plot the points. So remember, each ordered pair is a point. Each ordered pair is a point. So meaning, graphing them would be, I hope it's quite easy. Because this one would uh, deal mainly with the first quadrant. So therefore, we will plot everything on the first quadrant. Okay? For the y value, we will um, do it as 2 four and six so we have our scaling for the y which is two four six and as for the x we just simply go with one two three okay so we plot the points one and two here okay two and four here and three and six here somewhere here okay and then of course we don't necessarily need to connect them but if we will connect them you will form this line okay but again we just simply need to plot the points that's easy graphing so meaning this um, relation is actually also expressed in this figure. So, kumbaga, you're just simply saying na, ano, um, you say, for say, for example, you said the, the term square, yan. How we will, how will, can we represent square? We can represent square as a box, right? We can also represent a square as an exponent. And this is one representation of our, um, relation, which is, of course, in a graph way, graphical way, okay? We go to the next example, 
Okay, the next example, yeah, we have this one. Okay, again we graph. This would fall mainly on the second quadrant. So we will create our graph that is mainly um, on the second quadrant. Yeah. Okay, so mainly on the second quadrant. So of course we plot the n the numbers. Um, we will go for y here. For y we go with one half and then one. So para ano na, let's make it bigger. Yeah. This is one half. Oh, sorry, y negative. This is one half and this is one. And then for the x we go as is. Okay, this is um up until negative three. Yeah. Negative one, negative two, negative three. Let's plot the points. Everything is in one, remember. So one would be somewhere here. And negative three is here, negative two is here, and the negative one is here. So plotting the points, this is this is negative one and one. This is negative two and one, and this is negative three and one. Okay, so that's it. You just simply plot the points. It's not necessary that you need to write the name of the um the point itself. Just simply plot the points. Okay, so last one, last one. We are using three examples each, so that you are able to picture it out better. Okay, so we have this one. This one would fall mainly on the fourth quadrant okay fourth quadrant so we plot this one on the fourth quadrant um, this and here okay the x value would be up to five i guess so it's one two three four five and then for the y it's four it's negative four one two three and four negative four and plotting them let's plot one and negative one it's here 1 and negative 2. It's here. Yeah. And we have 1 and negative 3. It's here. And then we have 5 and negative 4. So 5 is somewhere here. Let me just trace it down. So it's easier. Okay. So it's somewhere here. And this would be your graph. Again, just simply, you just simply need to plot the points. Okay. And you're taking, I hope we can do this up until, ano lang. Um, 20 minutes okay so let's have the last one would be the um the rule of equation okay the last one is by the rule of equation rule of equation um yeah i hope it will fit here i hope it can fit here so the rule of equation is just simply creating your equation for your um for your given um, relation again the rule of equation would just simply be um, creating your equation for your given um, for your given relation okay and this one ano, um, it would be a little bit difficult for us to create uh, actually now because the time is 18 minutes it would be a little bit difficult let's uh, let's uh, let's uh, perform this one on our ano, uh, another video this would take long okay so in any case if you have any other questions about the three um representations the first three mona which is of course the um mapping and arrow and then we have the uh, table of values and graph um just uh, view the video again or ask me in our class okay and that would be all thank you everyone for listening i hope you learned something today assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh